so cooler today this morning than yesterday, but it is not windy as far as I can tell, and that's going to make a big difference. But our humidity in the house is way down, so I brought the gizmo. Good morning, it's Barbara. My hair was terrible today, so I decided to wear my hat. Can you imagine how bad it was? Because normally I don't, and it always looks terrible in the morning. Thank you for joining me for coffee. So I was very upset at myself last night because I had my spindle in a plastic bag on my footrest and it fell on the floor. I didn't realize. So that's the trifecta for Maisie. Anything on the floor is a toy for her. Plastic bags are some of her favorite things. And there was a stick in it. Bingo. She had such a good time till we figured out what she was doing. So I'm going to be looking for a new spindle. I know um, Juanita gave me a new spindle, drop spindle, but it's so tiny. Although I am going to try it. <laughs> I will try it, but I, it's going to make lace. Three-ply lace. <laughs> but I was really upset with myself because it was my own fault. Dennis was so sweet. He's like, do you need a hug? <laughs> yeah, I did need a hug. <laughs> I was so mad at myself. But she just ate the end of it. Well, she ate enough of it that I can't really use it. But she didn't mess up the yarn that was on it. <laughs> and she didn't even get into the fiber because the stick is the number one thing. So there was fiber in that bag too. Anyway, I'm really annoyed with myself. But I'm going to be on the lookout for... I guess I'll be on Etsy looking for a drop spindle. I do have another one, but, um, and maybe I'll figure out what I was doing on that. I was doing something bare colored, you know, like undyed on that. And, uh, like if I could find it, maybe I'll continue with that for a while and then, uh, do some plying and see if I, if I love that drop spindle enough. It, it wasn't my favorite. That's, you know, anyway, whatever. It was, I was very sad last night. But I made some progress on my, uh, Tess of the Durber, Tess Durberville's shawl. And I had a quiet day. Too much time on my phone. Some knitting, some crying. <laughs> so, Dennis made, oh, and we found this recipe. We, De, Dennis is so funny because he never really liked um, cocktails. He was, you know, he was only a beer and wine drinker really when I met him. And then he discovered he liked caipirinhas. And that was a shock to him, but he really likes them. <laughs> so that you know gave him the idea that he might like other things but he really hasn't had on other things I mean he's discovered he liked Kuiperinas like six eight years ago and uh, but anyway <laughs> because I've been getting into the gin drinks the gin drinks are a relatively new thing for me He's been, and you know, we're home and YouTube and everything. We've been watching these bartender shows, channels, and he's been finding me gin drinks. And this cute, very cute Slovenian bartender, Kevin Koss, K-O-S, um, he's the one with the cool recipes. He's the one that has the tonic water recipe that Dennis makes me that I love. He's the one who has the... Um, vermouth recipe that he makes me 
so he does all these cool things and you know sort of chemis chemistry and you know not chemistry but I forget what he calls it anyway she just decided to bark outside so Kevin Koss anyway we found a his one of his latest videos is how to make super lemon juice and it's basically how to make like I guess it's not a pint but it's almost a pint of lemon juice from one lemon and basically you peel the lemon you peel it with a peeler you don't like peel it like an, you would peel an orange you peel the yellow part off the outside with a peeler you soak it in citric acid for two hours then you juice the, the lemon and put the juice and the peel and water and you make sure you get all the citric acid in there too and blend it for 30 seconds or a minute and strain it through a cheesecloth and you have all this lemon juice from one lemon so Dennis made a Scorps Revivers last night which uses his vermouth that he makes us and lemon juice and gin and, and our home and our homemade Cointreau it's all homemade <laughs> He, he made made us each a couple of those there small and hardly got a dent in the in the lemon juice bottle whereas that would have taken two lemons yesterday day before yesterday so it's crazy so anyway Kevin Koss if you have any interest in in mixed drinks and interesting chemistry things making things it's fun. So anyway, we made lemon, <coughs> lemon juice and lime juice last night. Dog. She's turned into such a barky dog, and don't you talk back to me. Anyway, so we did that yesterday. But otherwise, it was relatively quiet. Oh, we, we had a snow squall. Dennis said, oh, we better walk now because there's a snow squall coming, and it came while we were walking. It was pretty cool. You know, doesn't really leave any snow on the ground. It's just like a whiteout conditions for five minutes. <laughs> so we were walking in the snow squall. It's kind of fun. But there you go. That's our exciting life, for sure. We'll be stopping over at Aura's today. The other thing Dennis made, what did was make cauliflower casserole for Aura. It's Kim's birthday today, so we'll go and, and I'll sing her. Happy birthday, and it will make her cringe because, you know, she's a professional singer. <laughs> and I'm not. <laughs> and uh, bring some cauliflower casserole for them to have for her birthday dinner. We won't be staying for dinner. We're trying to spread out the visits with Aura so that she has company more often. Because she is lonely. You know, she lives by herself. So, figure, you know, we'll say hi, we'll give Kim a happy birthday hug, let them have their time together, and then um, next week, Dennis has pork chops to make, sous vide pork chops that she's looking forward to, and so we'll do that one day next week for dinner, maybe, um, maybe Thursday, don't know what day. You'll, you'll know when it happens. Um, but anyway, so that's the plan for today is just stop there on the way home or to dog walk to give them some of their supper. Say, sing happy birthday. And try to get a good night's sleep and try to go to bed a little early tonight because tomorrow morning I have to get up at the crack of dawn to go to state college to take my mom to the doctor. So I will not be vlogging in the morning because I will be getting up early and going on the road. So I don't know how we'll both survive without me talking. I will survive. I will too, because I'll be driving, but you know, it'll be weird. It'll be weird. But it is what it is. 
and that'll be good for mama to have her checkup and I'll get to see my parents I haven't seen them for a couple months so it'll all be good but it'll just be a day trip I'll be home for dinner I'll sit with them through lunch I don't I don't eat there I don't eat lunch because you know I usually don't eat until like three or four in the afternoon and the food there is terrible <laughs> so I'll sit there and have a nice tea while they eat their lunch and keep them company till it's nap time and then they'll take their naps and I'll head home and that'll be that'll be nice we don't you know there's nothing to talk about <laughs> oh that's not true we had a really nice visit when Christy came so maybe maybe two months is enough to acquire a few things to talk about who knows we'll see but that's the plan for tomorrow but I will talk to you again on Tuesday tell you how it all went meanwhile I'm working on my Tess Durberville I did not work on my eye cord bind off Maybe I'll work on that today. That'd be nice to get it done. And I can block it and my jack socks. I could even soak them in the same tub because they're exact same yarn, right? <laughs> Forgot that. <laughs> yeah, maybe I'll do that. We'll see be on Etsy find myself another drop spindle and uh, just chilling taking it easy these days I'm working on my you know on my mood it seems to be doing good except when I leave my stuff around for my dog to eat I was so mad at myself so mad at myself You can't blame Maisie. It was on the floor. Everything on the floor is hers. But I was so mad at myself. I didn't even, I don't think I even yelled at her. <laughs> Which I tend to do even when I know it's my own fault. I don't think I even yelled at her. I was so mad at myself. Uh, anyway, maybe I'll text Juanita and ask her for a recommendation. Juanita has a huge collection of drop spindles. I, she might have 60. I don't know where I got that number. That might be a little high, but she has a lot of drop spindles that she, she likes to drop spindle and she um, collects them. So maybe I'll text her and see if she can recommend an Etsy shop for me to go look at. I do follow, I think, Snyder Spindles on um, on Instagram. I'll check that. Check my Instagram people and see. I think it's Snyder Spindles. And so maybe I'll, I, I probably follow them because that might be a Snyder Spindle. Actually, I think it's signed. I'll see if I can see who made the one I have. That I like the best. Anyway, so that's the story. Morning glory. I am gonna go and start my day and wish you a good day. Please take good care of yourselves. I will see you on Tuesday. Please, please stay safe and stay sane.